Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and we're taking a quick look once again at uh, the future of Windows 10, where it's all heading, where everything is going and a lot of you are interested in knowing okay what's you know what's next. So we have um, as we move on this year, you know I mean we are in June, we're already half of 2019 is almost gone already, which is incredible. Time really flies. And one of the things that is interesting here is to understand that, of course, we're moving ahead. And I'm getting a lot of questions of people saying, what's happening to 19H2, which is the next version of Windows for this year in October or something. Um, and of course, in the insider rings, we are testing 20H1, which is next year. And we still have no hint and no info about 19H2. And it's getting clearer as time goes by that 19H2 will possibly not be, I mean, it's happening. There's something called 19H2 that's going to happen, but it's not going to be a major update. And it seems that it might be a little bit like a cumulative update that would be kind of a, you know, like we were on, on Windows 7 and XP, we had what we, uh, you know, there would be surface service packs that would kind of fix things and update things and change a few things. Well, 19H2 is looking um, basically to be like that. It's looking to be a minor cumulative update that will just, you know, uh, move things around. A lot of the things that might be showing up in 19H2 that could be in 20H1 because 19H2 will open the door for 20H1 with some features, but the features that 20H1 will get will be actually turned off in 19H2. So we'll be moving on and possibly it's not, you know, it's still speculation, but there's a good chance that it might not be a big install like the feature updates like the May 2019 update. And apparently that could be what will be the future. And that means we'll get one year, once a year feature update that is this year the May 2019 update and next year will be the 20H1 build. And the second half of the year some kind of you know service pack if you want that will simply update the current version and, and you know tweak a few things. So this means there's a change in the way that the future of Windows is going to happen and I think it's uh, it's for it's for the best. I mean, the way Windows 10 was going towards the future with two updates a year, two major updates a year, that couldn't continue like that. It was impossible to continue it like that. So it's kind of interesting to see that they're fixing that and they're trying to change things. So the future looks possibly brighter for most users because totally, I totally understand how annoying it could be to have all of these updates. Um, so once a year major update I think isn't a bad idea at all and um, you know you guys will have less stress going on with updates all the time and of course 20H1 which is still going on not a lot of new features uh, but I have heard and I've actually read a, uh, a, a Twitter users blog post for a few uh, a few times and uh, that seemed to mention and the guy knows what's happening inside Microsoft and um, there's quite a few of that that seems to point at uh, yes a couple of major features are coming uh, in the next half of this year for 20H1 so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that because right now you know it's kind of quiet not that many new features but apparently things are going to ramp up for 20H1 and they're getting it ready of course because it's going to coincide with the fact that Windows 7 is going to have end of support in January. So that's the update for what's happening in uh, the Windows world for the future. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.